for storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. It's 515. We are still pretty quiet out there this morning, but we are going to get very windy and much, much colder as the day goes on. So enjoy this morning and the early afternoon weather before we start to see some major changes coming in. This is our West Topeka camera. We've got clear skies with just a few passing high thin clouds right now. Central Topeka, we're at 41 degrees, feeling just a little cooler with our winds out of the south at five miles an hour. That's a very light wind compared to what we're going to see later on this afternoon as this cold front sweeps in. This starts at 730. This morning, this is a look at our future wind gusts. As we get that cold front in here, almost directly behind it, we'll start to see some stronger wind gusts. Already by lunchtime, maybe seeing those gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour in our northern counties. And eventually this afternoon and into the early evening, we're talking 40 plus mile per hour wind gusts through several hours heading into the overnight period. Eventually, though, the winds do taper off by early tomorrow. This is at 7 a.m. Even though we could still see wind gusts about 15 to 25 miles per hour at this point, we're going to be much colder. Any little bit of wind is going to make it feel frigid outside compared to the last several days. We haven't had a taste of winter like this in quite some time, so definitely a shock to the system for us, I think, throughout the next 12, 24 hours before we start to see the winds uh, shifting a bit out of the south and west and eventually pulling in some warmer air for the last half of the week. So that's the silver lining here. It doesn't last for very long. We're going to be back up into the 50s and 60s already by Thursday and Friday. For now, we're in the 30s. We've got some 40s hanging on, even some 50s in Emporia, 54 degrees currently 45 at Burlington. We're at 40 in Hiawatha down to 37 though at Marysville and Clay Center at 36. You guys are going to get colder first to the north and west, but overall not too bad for high temperatures today. We'll still manage 50s and 60s in our northern counties. If you if you live along and south of I-70 though, you're likely going to make it up into the lower to middle 70s before that cold front arrives and then the bottom just falls out on us. We're going to drop down into the teens and 20s by the time we get to early tomorrow morning, trying to rebound into the 40s by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. So just buckle up, hang on. We have this little cold snap to get through, but we do have warmer temperatures after this. But we do have to talk about our future wind chills. This is where you're really going to notice the cold. Heading into the daytime today, that cold front comes in. By the time you're heading home from work, we'll likely be feeling like we're in the teens and 20s to the north and west some 20s and 30s right through the center of the area here this evening and then waking up early tomorrow single digits maybe even uh, sub zero briefly in some of our northern counties possible so that's feeling like 50 60 70 degrees colder than where we'll feel later on this morning and into the early afternoon but we do try to rebound a bit on Wednesday afternoon climbing into what feels like the middle to upper 30s maybe some low 40s to the south and west so we do have a little snow as well as this cold front's coming through just a few high thin clouds this morning. As we zoom out, you can already see that system getting closer to us. This big dip in the jet stream here that's going to continue racing southeastward through the day and then bring us that snow chance later on this evening. So by the time we get to five, six, seven o'clock, could start to see some light rain showers trying to change over to some snow. This moves through very quickly. So even though we will likely see some snow moving in today, it's in and out of here before you know it. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation with this. Maybe some dust uh, dusting upwards uh, about a half an inch or so on the grassy surface. Surfaces. So at least we have the warm temperatures over the last several days to help us out with that. The ground is very warm, so we're really not expecting much of that to stick, but there could be some slick spots early tomorrow to watch out for. Temperatures Thursday and Friday climb up to the 50s and 60s already. We do have a breezy week ahead of us, though. To get these warmer temperatures so quickly, we are going to have to have a pretty strong wind heading into the last half of this week into the weekend, too. So we'll be very windy all weekend as temperatures climb into the mid to upper 70s. Another cold front comes through by Monday, dropping our numbers again. We may even have a chance for some thunderstorms Sunday night into early Monday.